What we're doing is we're paying people, the faster you can take pictures of cars, the quicker they go up on the internet, and that's how they're paid. And usually the person that's doing this, if it's not a third party provider, is the lowest paid person in the dealership. We're not using high quality cameras, we're not taking quality pictures, and the biggest peeve with me is we're not properly describing the cars. I'm suggesting that dealers take a good look at their cars. I mean, this is the first impression. Years ago, we used to walk around the car and we do a walk around every morning. Now we should be walking the inventory every morning and seeing what we have in stock and how it's presented. I'll give you a good example. The other day we had a, a Range Rover that was listed on our site and it had a Christmas bow on it. Uh, we're in May now and there was a Christmas bow so I picked up the phone, I called the dealer and tried to find out if the feed was wrong or something was correct on it. The salesman had all the correct information on it once I got to the salesman. Uh, first of all, it was CPO. That wasn't described on the internet. The second thing is it had the cameras in the back seat. There was a, probably a $3,500 option. And there were a couple other options, but they had underpriced the car by more than $12,000. And so the dealer was leaving $12,000 on the table because it was poorly described on the internet. The salesman did a beautiful job describing the car, but the internet did a terrible job describing the car.